So the we're led to believe that Ruby Volume Seven is actually finally coming out after like wait when was Volume Six? When uh, I'm gonna say 2017. I'm gonna say 2017. I'm, I'm gonna assume either 2017 or 16. Yeah. So Ruby Volume's coming. Ruby Volume Seven co is coming is in the next eight days. And I'm actually excited, and this gives me the perfect opportunity to figure out, is Ozpin the true enemy? Now, you might be saying, of course he's not the true enemy. Of course he's not an enemy, because he's actually helping Team Ruby out. But what if I were to tell you that that isn't true? Now, let's just get to Ozpin's backstory, if you've been living under a rock. Now, Ozpin is actually a headmaster, or a principal, if you're curious, in, of a high school at Beacon Academy, where high schoolers can learn how to become huntress and huntsmen huntresses and huntsmen yeah it means like a, a people fighting for their own glory and he actually built out the perfect team which is team ruby which lets us believe they've been in several episodes of ultra fun missions which makes them a perfect team even with even with them alone but he wasn't just an head, a headmaster at beacon academy yeah well mainly for coaching ruby for understanding he was most likely a well-known prince or rescuer in his past time. And he rescued this pretty blondie. And, it, and they lived happily ever after. Or so they thought they would happen. Because, because after this, Osman was feeling sick through and through. And I wouldn't recommend you having that sickness because his sickness died with him, actually. And Boy of Salem was actually crying. So she went to the God of Light's a, uh, palace, or lake, or with a tree, I don't know. Well, she met up with the God of Light to ask the, the request to bring him back to life, but how suddenly he rejected them, and suddenly she, didn't, she uh, felt mad. But the God of Darkness actually gave her what she wanted and brought back the love of her life. But the God of Light didn't like that, and the God of Darkness realized the mistake that he was, so he knew what he had to do, burn his creation. Gave her, and, but, and plus, they gave her blessings, and they gave her a blessing of immortality, trying trying to commit suicide, but didn't actually go that well. And so she, gained, so she got everyone inside of her whole land to argue with the God of Darkness and the God of Night. But thanks to her disagreements and objections, an objectionist and rejectness. Humanity, thanks to her, is all but extinct. Except for her. Yeah. So she wanted to do what she wanted to do to kill herself inside an underworld known as Nevermore. Yeah. I think I think it was Nevermore. I don't know what the underground is. I still have to do research on the Nevermore, I think. But still, it's actually a really grim situation. <laughs> eh? <sighs> terrible pun. But still, she decided to kill herself. And it, so she decided to kill herself, and somehow, she died. Or at least she thought she died. Because right off the bat, her immortality grew stronger and stronger, and turned her into a darkest self known as Salem. Now, let's get to the chase. Remember that guy, Osman, that I mentioned earlier? Now, he was alive, but not in the real world. But somehow he was alive in the, uh, the, the, the white screen of the God of Light. So the God of Light he, uh, told Osborn to uh, grab four relics, which by the way, one of the relics actually looks like pure as a uh, tiara. Didn't you actually mention that? Because it looks really good. I mean, it looks really familiar to that. But anyways, my hair is just real bad. But still, Ozpin was told to collect four relics, and surprisingly, he accepted their offer. And so he uh, resurrected, but not in his own body. So he was told to him. So he told himself to go meet Salem, and they thought, but both of each other, they, they, they weren't, didn't know that they were going to be recognized. But so how they actually do it was them all along. And surprisingly. They got married and reclaimed their title as the new God of Darkness and God of Light. And so, Ozpin, uh, after later, or like a few moments later, Ozpin, after a few moments later, told Salem about the God of Light situation. And so, she didn't, she ignored him. So, Salem wanted Ozpin to, uh, to not do it, but somehow, 
he rejected them because he wanted to see Now, to keep this kid safe, he wanted them to go in the safe room, but as Salem saw, it was betrayal. And so they fought over and over again. The battle was ended until Osmond once again died. And so he transferred to another body. Now, let's just say, now let's just say that uh, uh, Osmond's uh, uh, spiritual lining territory didn't actually go so well. After many body territories, he found one right body for himself, Oscar. A 14-year-old boy who is basically a farmer. Uh, I don't get this at all. I don't know why, but to Osmond's truth, he saw Oscar as a hard worker. So he basically thought he, was, he had the right body. And so, yeah, for a skilled in combat because his body's younger. Now we're led to believe in the Ruby anime. Now we're led to believe in the Ruby anime that Osmond is actually giving some new advice for the Team Ruby. But what if I told you that wasn't actually the case? Now, throughout their entire adventure, Osmond and Oscar actually make a phenomenal team, actually. But what if I were to tell you that that, that didn't actually go so well? After In Volume 6, after the truth finally being revealed, Osmond felt guilty about not telling him in the first place. Now, yeah, I actually felt sad like the way... Osmond is feeling because you know life is just cruel because this is just the world we live in because I can totally respect that now I thought to myself is this actually the secret that Jenna actually revealed truly or was there more but Jen forgot about them which is far beyond now let's take a look at some flashbacks now in the anime we're led to believe that Osmond and Oscar are making a phenomenal team with each other and they're using each other to defeat Salem with Team Ruby and Team Juniper with Apira and Crow once and for all but if I were to say they would do that but Osmond would actually stab them in the back leading them to way far to their misery so after Salem being defeated Osmond finally destroys Osmond actually finally destroys Salem to get his revenge. Same goes for the uh, out misdirection. Because at, right off the back, Team Ruby and Team Juniper without Pyrrha. And Crow and, an, and the old lady. The, yeah, there's an old lady inside Volume 6. But after them being finally defeating Salem, Osmond would most notably stab them in the back. Now, that is actually one crazy story. But still, if I were to believe, if you don't actually get it, here's what I'm saying. Osmond and Oscar will, will definitely defeat Salem, but Osmond would most notably transform back into his own transferring body. The team, actually everybody, won't even notice what's going on, and somehow Osmond would most notably get in, get in the switching position, most notably attacking Team Ruby, Team Juniper without Pyrrha, Crow, and the old lady in the back, leading them to its misery once and for all. And that occurs to tell you, the uh, the betrayal of Ozpin actually totally worked after centuries, actually. Now, if you're thinking that the bad guy is actually Salem, then you are simply wrong. It's a spy in disguise, Professor Ozpin himself. And the way how you could see Ozpin really tear things down. But hey! I'm not saying that could- I'm not saying that can hap- That is actually gonna- I'm not saying that's gonna actually- I'm not saying that's gonna happen, I'm saying that could happen because, hey, this is just a theory. A Ruby theory. <laughs> yeah, I most notably got that from, from film theory and game theory, but still, it's most notably still good, but still. Yeah, and yes! We are actually that. So if you wanna, so if you wanna subscribe to my channel, please sure to hit the subscribe button in the face, or with your finger. Because, you know, it's most notably a phone. Well, if you're if you're watching this on a phone, then just tap the subscribe button. And if you're watching, but if you're watching this on computer or PC, just click on the subscribe button. Yeah. So that's all. That's all of my theories. I, I, I know it's short. I, most notably theories. Uh, yeah. Some uh, some theories. Uh, yeah. Some theories uh, uh, can uh, be long, but this theory is actually really short because I don't want to keep you bored them a lot. I just want to, I just want things to get more interesting because you know I was most likely doing some research and I wondered is Osman the true enemy? Is he actually helping them? But let me hear you guys let me hear your guys' thoughts on the comments below. <laughs> so uh, I'm Jane Amistonic and I'm rolling out. So.
be sure to uh, be sure to like this video like comment and subscribe if you're watching this and so go check out some of my previous videos I do versus debates and all that and uh, yeah I'm working on a project for some reason right now so thanks for watching peace out